federal government stepping into that space where they are making investments. In investments in infrastructure was a topic of discussion for Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne's visit to Milton. We had a, a great opportunity to uh, to sit with the local member, MPP Indira Naidu Harris, and to meet with business people from the community who have a you know have a really good sense of, of how this community is thriving and uh, and what could be done to uh, to help it along. Wynn claims overpopulation issues in schools, hospitals and the courts in the fastest growing town in Canada is a top priority. We've made a, a commitment to $160 billion investment over 12 years in infrastructure. That's roads, bridges, schools, transit, you know, hospitals. Um, that is a very important aspect of, first of all, creating jobs in the immediate term because people need to build all those things. Uh, it's very important that we build the health care facilities, we build the schools and we build the, uh, the public transit that is needed for uh, for this community. I think there, there are uh, renovations going on and new hospitals, uh, well the new hospital has been built and so that's an indication of how we recognize as a province that this is a very important community. The Premier also touched on the challenges the province must tackle when it comes to dealing with the needs of a community with a variety of landscapes from urban to rural farmland that growth that's happening has to take into account land use and one of the things we talked about was the extent to which Milton can grow. There was a lot of concern about uh, the ability of Milton to grow and not not wanting to eat up farmland but not also being able to necessarily grow the downtown core the way they want to. And then the other part of it is that because rural Ontario is part of this uh, this region we need to recognize that Agriculture and food processing are a very important part of our economy. Making sure that we support agriculture in this province and support the farmers and the food processing industry uh, is very important. And we've included that in our business, uh, in our uh, Jobs and Prosperity Fund to make sure that we have money to work with uh, food processing and, uh, and uh, help that industry to thrive. Reporting for Milton, for Halton Insider, I'm Hayden Narine.